Discogs lists 52 variations of the E-1999 Eternal album, which includes CDs, records, cassettes, and other formats. There are 22 variants listed of the E-99 Eternal CD, which includes international versions, imports, clean versions, and others. In this video, I will show you five of the 22 compact disc CD variants of Eternal listed on Discogs. I also want to point out that I do know that So Crazy 352 did a good video of the multiple pressings of E1999 Eternal in 2014, and it's linked below. The purpose of this video is to show the average viewer that there are more versions than just the one with Crossroad and the Crossroads DJ Unique's Mothug remix. Here are four variations of where the barcode is placed on the back of the CD with the different barcodes and the UPC barcode numbers I have are 0746469443250746410620888561553920 and 5099748103864 now while I have five variants of Eternal, I only have four different UPC barcodes. And the one that shares the same barcode has the most significant difference. And you guessed it, it is the first two releases. The one with Crossroad and the one with the Crossroads DJ Unique Mothug remix. Same barcode, but different songs and different artwork. Here is a quick look at the two variations of the disc art. The original didn't have as much extra symbols and runes on it, whereas the second version with The Crossroads has all this additional stuff on it. You could look at the track list on the back tray CD to differentiate the two, or you could look at the color Easy es credits are in, and you'll see going on why the color of how Easy es name is printed actually matters. So the version with the original Crossroad, his name is written in black, with red outline and on the DJ Unique Mothug remix his name is spelled in bright red with a thin black outline. <laughs> now there is something special about this version of Eternal uh, the one with the same barcode but different crossroads and I think it's the only one in the entire set of variations that has a secret message that most people have missed but that is for a future episode of Decoding the Double Glock. Now Here's where it gets real confusing. This disc here, the 0746469443325 version of Eternal, the disc itself prints Red Distribution 1995 Ruthless Records, but the back of the tray reads Crossroad, but on the disc itself, it is The Crossroads. Even though what you're seeing on screen shows Crossroad, when you play it, it actually plays The Crossroads. So now take a look at the backs of both of these discs. You remember how I said earlier that the color Easy es name is written and is important? Well, in this case, it's like, what the heck? Because one of those discs says Crossroad and the other says the, Cro the Crossroads DJ Unique Remix, but they're both the Crossroads DJ Unique Remix, even though one of them just says Crossroad, both on the back of this and on the disc itself. And it's funny because I remember at the time where The Crossroads became Crossroad and people complained. They said, hey, man, we like the original one, too. You know, don't kill. There's a difference between Crossroad and The Crossroads. So just because it says Crossroad doesn't mean you're getting Crossroad. You might be getting The Crossroads. So pay attention to all these little tiny specific details to differentiate. And the disc is identical to the other version with The Crossroads, except for one special thing, which I said earlier, we will cover on Decoding the Double Glock in future episodes. So make sure you're subscribed with push notifications to find out when we release it. Also, one other difference between the two discs, the disc tray on one version, it's clear see-through, and the other one, it's frosted. The other two discs I have are international versions. This one, 509-974-810-3864 CD, has both versions of Crossroads on it. So Crossroad and The Crossroads are both on this disc. It has copyright 1996 on the back tray, and it says made in Austria. And this, 
0074649106026 is a Canadian version. Now the difference between the two is the discs have slight variations of the logos and the PA sticker barcode in different places. And according to So Crazy 352 in that video I linked below, the discs that look like this are international versions. So, do any of you have all 22 CD variants? Does anyone have all 52 variants of all formats of the album that are listed on Discogs? Let us know about your eternal collection and special tidbits about it. And if you're looking to sell your copies, share this video around to increase the demand and then list it. On behalf of Cecil West and Matt Weaver, I am Jonathan Lippi, and we thank you for watching Beyond the Harmony.